and welcome to Minnetonka Audio's introduction to using Audio Tools Loudness Control for Harmonic Promedia Carbon. In this first part of a series, we'll focus on how to use Audio Tools Loudness Control on a local node. Let's start by creating or selecting an existing input source and output destination directory. Remember to grant read and write permissions. To do so, we're going to right click on our input folder, go Properties, Sharing, Advanced Sharing, Share this folder, and we're going to set our permissions to full control. Now we're going to go apply. OK. Apply. OK. And we'll do the same with our output folder. Now I'm going to place an asset into the input folder. Next, launch the WFS Workflow Manager. Next, let's go Tools Menu, Workflow Editor. On the left-hand side of the Workflow Editor dialog, you will see a column named Workflow Templates. Click on the plus button to add a new workflow template. In the resulting new workflow dialog, name your workflow and supply a description to document what type of task your workflow will perform. Once you have that set, click on Create to save your settings. We'll name this MTKA Loudness Correction. And the description will be Loudness Correction. Now that we've supplied all this information, I'll click Create. Under Tasks in the Properties tab, right-click on Transcode Targets and select Add Target from the contextual menu. In the resulting dialog, click on the Browse button to the right of the preset field. Select your desired transcode preset. An example would be 24-bit, 48K. When you're satisfied with your settings, click Select. Next, click on the Browse button to the right of the Output Path field and select the output path you specified in the first step. Note, the default entry in the file name field percent %s will retain the original file name of your source assets. After specifying your transcode target preset and output path, click on Enable under the Node Assignment and select your desired machine group. This Enable step will globally apply to the defined workflow. Next, right-click on Target Filters and select Add Target Filter from the resulting contextual menu. Click on the Browse button to the right of the preset field. Under the Preset Categories portion of the Preset Editor, in the resulting dialog, double-click on Audio Filters. Select System then select one of the Minnetonka Audio Loudness Control plugins. You can select as is or name this preset as desired, along with a description of the measurement or loudness correction parameters you wish to apply. In the resulting settings subpane, you can leave the loudness control plugin set to measure only if you wish to only perform a loudness measurement. If you'd like to measure and adjust your material, select Measure and Adjust. Next, specify your program configuration and any other loudness adjustment options you wish to apply. Note that if you've selected Measure and Adjust, you will be able to specify all of the parameters for loudness options, such as True Peak Threshold, True Peak Attack, and so on and so forth. Now that you have specified all of your desired loudness settings, click Select or Save As at the bottom right of the preset dialog. Then click Apply in the lower right-hand corner, and your workflow template will be saved along with all of your settings. You can now close the Workflow Editor. Now that you've created a workflow, click on the Watch Folders tab, then click on Add at the base of the Workflow Manager. Under the Settings tab of the Add Watch Folder dialog, name your watch folder and specify its explicit path.
On the right hand side, select the workflow template you previously created and click Add. Now, close the Add Watch Folder dialog. You will see your watch folder appear under the Watch Folders tab. For the watch folder you have defined, right click on the State Radio button at left and select Enable from the contextual menu. Provided that you have placed assets into your specified input directory, your files will begin processing once the State Radio button turns green.